What's up, Wargamers? We are back, and we have hit 1,000 subscribers thanks to you guys right there. So for those of you who have entered into our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, there were four videos previous to this in which you were eligible to enter that you wanted in on the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Here's what we were giving away. Either a No No Fear box set, or a Tempest of Souls, or get this, I will kick it up just a tiny notch and or let you pick from one of the get Getting Started collection boxes. So that actually gives you a lot more versatility in what you pick, whether you wanna beef up an existing force that you've got or venture into something that you don't play, play yet and use that as a launching off pad. So on my hobby table, I've got quite a bit of stuff going on right behind me. I've got a ludicrous amount of unopened boxes from Games Workshop that I've gotta to put together um, and some other stuff from Fantasy Flight, stuff like that. Um, yeah, Buku Bucks back there in the box, but these little Sentinels right here and the Lehman Russes and Chimeras, they're all going to beef up my Steel Legion because it's actually cheaper to build an armored company around um, Death Corps of Krieg, not Steel Legion. Uh, they're going for my Death Corps of Krieg, so I've purchased Death Corps of Krieg Grenadiers and some of the heavy weapons teams and stuff like that, but the cost of bulking up on those guys to build out an infantry battalion is just like ridiculous. Plus the availability of a lot of the Death Corps models is hit or miss with Forge World. So uh, basically I've I've taken what I've already purchased and I'm just adding to that to have Armored Company, you know, like five, six Lehman Russes, something like that. Um, and then like six Sentinels, some, some cool stuff that I'm throwing in there. <clears throat> of course, I've still got my um, All Night Armager list underway here so I've been working on those guys this past weekend I tried to get into the hobby store went in on Saturday to try to pick up a game but I couldn't get a game in I was just gonna play with the um, all armiger list but this coming weekend I'm gonna try again to get a game in on Saturday so we'll see if I finally get a game out there um, what the outcome is and I'll report back to you guys on how an all armiger uh, Imperial Knights list actually plays against whatever comes my way so that'll be big we're making expansions here inside the Hobby Bunker. I purchased another one of these uh, gray IKEA cases here. I'm gonna put that just to the side and then we're gonna have to change our layout. So it might change the way these videos look here in the future or I might just still uh, prop out of the corner. So we'll have to take a look. So we'll do the giveaway here at the end of the video. I wanted to dive in and talk to you guys about something that's near and dear to my heart and that is Orktober. Are you guys aware? Are you guys participating in Orktober? Um, this is a way that you guys can help out your fellow hobbyists by being able to be a sport and pick up a cool game like Speed Freaks. Um, this is going to be awesome. I think that this box set comes with not only like four new vehicles, I believe, or at least it appears to be, uh, but this kicks off the orcs. This is the relaunch of the orcs. There's a new orc codex coming out. We've got goblins. That looks like the night goblins and some squigs um, coming out for um, Shadespire Night Vault. And I did pick that up as well, so I've got that um, on there. It kind of sucks because my Night Vault board was messed up. One of the sprues had like ripped through the board, so one side of my board is all mauled up. Um, it seems like lately I've been getting a lot of botched Games Workshop products, whether it's uh, paints in the painting set or glues that come in there that are all dried up already, uh, things like that. But that's the woes of the hobby uh, business, I suppose. Um, when in doubt, Pinky's out. And... Yeah, th so these are some of the new vehicles we've seen coming along. But there's a funny video here that if you take a look, um, they go through a satire of like this inspirational, motivational video. And then at the end, they close it out with the caption of, because when you're an orc, you don't need wings to fly. And they're, they're talking about the... <laughs> oh man, they're talking about this like rocket propelled vehicle instead of, of just having wheels it's got like a jet engine in the middle almost like they're uh they're the orc bomber um but it, it's just weird how it looks like all this stock photography or it looks like it's almost done as like a um what do you call those things people take uh, a, a pharmaceutical commercial so um let me know what you guys think about orcs i i played orcs a long time ago and i can remember back in the mid 90s uh my friend austin brandon and, and a few others we played a game that I had created using Austin's Orc War buggies and Orc War tracks and things like that. And we built out our own vehicles um, stat-wise and we drove around kind of like a NASCAR style track with right turns and left turns. And then we had to roll dice for getting acceleration and gear changes and things like that. So 
Um, it's kind of like a combination of what I understood this other game, I think called Formula One or something like that. Uh, I never played that game at that age and still haven't played it, but I had an understanding that like once you shifted gears, you had you know like more dice you'd roll for the distance you could go, but then you would ha also have problems that happened if you rolled like du doubles or triples and things like that. Um, so it was just kind of this weird quirky game, and I hope Speed Freaks is something like that. I hope it's a game that people can pick up and play and have it just be a beer and pretzels type of game. Um, something that's not hyper competitive. I know that Shade Spire was like, like kind of talked about locally as being this um, this beer and pretzels type of game, but I don't think it really is. I think it turned into something super competitive. But I don't think anybody could really go out there and take a game like Speed Freaks or the or the Space Works with that much seriousness and actually um, come out alive. So I really hope that that's something that they do have a lot of expansions for. Um, Man, speaking of expansions, did you guys see that they have the Warhound Titans coming out? And it looks like they're $75 a pair, which isn't too bad considering that it was $60 for one of the, uh, not the Warlord Titans, but what was that other one I got that I've only got the, I've only got the legs put together on this guy so far. This was that Titan that came out as an expansion. Uh, you think I'd know better. Let me look at the instruction booklet. It was a Reaver Battle Titan. So, got that sitting with my... Um, my, my new Kill Team expansion set. So these guys do actually look pretty cool. I might pick those guys up just for completeness and because I I don't know if I need something to go in this hobby case. What I actually need to do is get some more glass shelves. Even though these came from Ikea, they don't sell expand, expandable glass shelves. So i got to figure out a solution because I'm putting in these like, you know, two inch tall miniatures, but I've got a foot of space here. And if I could put a glass shelf here and here and then one below that, then I would be able to double my my model count and it's not like a bunch of plastic really weighs that much in there that I'd have to worry about it weighing down the glass on the cases and stuff um, but yeah so it looks like these guys are coming out and they're coming out with their own uh, Warhound Titan cards and stuff so let me know what you guys are into but I'm gonna go ahead because we're all excited we want to do not just talk about October like we just did but we want to do the 1000 subscriber giveaway so here's how I'm gonna do it because there's so many of you and I'm thankful for this but so many of you guys entered comments that I can't quite do it like I did for my last um, giveaway. So here's what I'm going to do is kind of, I'm going to do a bracket system. There were four videos that you could have been in for the uh, giveaway. I'm going to go through a random comment picker and I'm going to pick a semi-finalist from each of the videos. So if you commented on all four videos, you've got four chances to be entered in the drawing. You could potentially win multiple brackets. So I'm going to, I'm going to allow that in the event that somebody wins the comment, random comment pick from more than one video. Then we're gonna go ahead and take each of those four winners, or or less winners if it's the same person more than once, and semi-finalists, and we're gonna put their names into manually into a second random uh, name picker, and then the winner from that will actually be winning, and then I'll reach out to you, and we'll try to coordinate how I ship this out to you. So remember, if you're overseas, you, I'll just ask that you pay for shipping, and then if you live here in the United States, I will cover shipping on that and we'll get that sent out. Um, so let's go ahead and grab some URLs. I'll do this, kind of have to do this behind the scenes so you guys don't see the back end of YouTube here. All right, so this is going to be the semi-finalist from the Wake the Dead box set and more video. Let's go ahead and put that on screen so you guys can follow along. And I put in the URL, we're going to hit 34 commenters, alright. See your names flying across the screen there and it's going to grab one of them. So Patrick Yang, you are a semi-finalist and I've got another thing that we're going to put your name into. So Patrick Yang, you are the first semi-finalist here in the giveaway. All right, let's go back and pick out the next video. All right, so this is going to be the next semi-finalist. George S. Patton. All right.
Let's go ahead and grab the next eligible video. My apologies, there are actually only three eligible videos. I thought, I thought there were four. One of my posted was a duplicate that actually had an editing error in it, so I took that one down right after posting it, so. All right, and this will be our third semi-finalist. There's 64 here from the first video I posted. That was the Warhammer hobby update. All right, Avion Savad. So we're gonna put your name in here. And let's go ahead and pick a random item from the list. Patrick Yang, congratulations. Patrick Yang, you are the winner of the 1,000 subscriber budget war Wargamer giveaway. And here are, are your choices again. So everybody send him some congratulations. He's either going to win his choice of a No No Fear starter box set or the Tempest of Souls starter box set. Those are both roughly 80 US dollar value. Um, and they're the, the uh, mid-sized starter sets for either Warhammer 40,000 or Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Or you can win one of the getting Get Started, um, Start Collecting box sets, such as the Start Collecting Necrons, Start Connect Collecting Orcs, things like that. So I will send you a direct comment. And in the meantime, just stay tuned for Budget Wargamer. We're going to come out with some more videos here in this coming week to help highlight some of the really cool stuff that's coming out. Uh, once I get some of this Night Vault opened up and actually play through it, I might do a playthrough video like I did for the original uh, Shadespire, but just stay tuned.